Endoscopic ultrasound guided gastro jejunostomy. A 79 year old male with newly diagnosed gastric adenocarcinoma presented to our hospital with early satiety, nausea, and vomiting. Imaging showed a distended stomach with a known antral mass and liver lesions consistent with metastatic disease. The patient was decompressed with an NG tube and an endoscopy was performed confirming malignant gastric outlet obstruction. Endoscopic ultrasound guided gastrojejunostomy was then performed. The endoscope was advanced into the stomach and obstruction was visualized at the pylorus. A guide wire was advanced through the scope across the area of obstruction deep into the small intestine under fluoroscopic visualization. A nasobiliary catheter was then advanced through the working channel of the scope across the area of obstruction over the wire deep into the small intestine. At that point, the wire was removed for anchoring of the pigtail of the catheter in the small intestine and the endoscope was removed. Methylene blue infusion was then hooked up to the nasobiliary catheter and the small intestine was inflated with fluid and methylene blue. An echo endoscope was then advanced into the stomach and the dilated small bowel loop was visualized and accessed with a 19 gauge needle. Contrast was injected to confirm location and aspiration of contents yielded methylene blue liquid confirming location. Aluminoposing metal stent with cautery was then deployed with the first end deployed in the uh, small bowel lumen and pulled into apposition with the gastric wall. A wire was then advanced through the stent into the small intestine under fluoroscopic visualization. The proximal end of the stent was then deployed in the stomach and drainage of methylene blue liquid confirmed successful location in the small intestine. A dilating balloon was then used to dilate the lumen of the stent up to its full diameter under endoscopic and fluoroscopic visualization and one double pigtail plastic scent was then deployed for anchoring. The patient was initiated on a clear liquid diet on post-op day one and advanced to soft diet on post-op day two. The patient was discharged home on the afternoon of post-op day two. On one month follow-up, the patient had continued toleration of a soft diet and had gained seven pounds.